If I was told there was one thing I could add to my bike to increase efficiency, smooth pedal stroke, and reduce pain on my knees and hips, I would say, show me the magic. And because this video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist, I got my hands on some rotor Q-rings. They're oval front chain rings that come in a variety of sizes and configurations and work with nearly every major crank manufacturer. One thing that's cool about these Q-rings is the center lock version. You can fine tune the setup so the adjustment can be exactly perfect for your scenario. Hopefully these magic rings do exactly what they claim. It's a brisk 34 degrees. The sun is just coming up. We have a ride of unknown quantities ahead of us. And the furthest I've ridden these rings is 2.2 miles. Yeah, I figured why spoil the fun? Test rides are so overrated. How's that look back there? Are we flat? Tubalito for the win. Little sidewall slash cause of the flat. Check out this pro move. I learned this from Fergus. Wrap a little gorilla tape around your pump and now you have a thing to patch any kind of unsightly slashes in your tire. I forgot I had this even. Remind me when I get home. What do you want to be reminded about? Tube on diverge needs to be patched. So do you feel the power stroke? Yeah, honestly, I don't really notice it. Yeah. The handlebar bag today is officially a glove box. There's, I've got three pairs of gloves today. We're gonna, we're gonna go from the welterweight to the heavyweight. Get me out. Oh wow. It is super windy out here right now. And we're still just getting started. Okay, a little about these oval rings. I decided to go with Rotor's Q-rings. It's direct mount, which to me just makes a lot of sense. Bonus features include shame reduction, regret mitigation, lifestyle validation. If this town is just an apple, let me take a bite. Oh yeah, two other things about these rings. It's milled out of one piece of aluminum. How fascinating. I didn't even know that was possible. True. The double ring weighs 177 grams. I mean, it could weigh more. Why, why, tell them that it's human nature. Why, why does she do me that way? And these Q-rings, they also have round ones also. They direct mount to these two-in-one rotor cranks, which not only look cool, but they're also a rechargeable power meter crank. It comes with a cable, little magnet plug, Boom, no more of those little disc batteries that you gotta borrow from Doug. It's great. Cause right now we're holding it down at a 202 watts, trying to keep up with Ronnie Espresso up here. Why? Tell him that it's human nature. Why? Why? Okay, first 20 some miles in on these oval rings. I gotta say, it's a pretty seamless transition. Not much to know, it just kind of feels normal. You notice it, but it doesn't get in the way. I would say that's a, that's a blue check. That is certified. Why, why does he do me that way? Climbs are still tough, but they feel smooth and efficient. And regret is down 2.3%. Today's power food, homemade waffles filled with peanut butter, honey, and coconut oil. Fantastic. I'm uh, still frozen. That's my little trunk. It's from Mission Workshop. And it's tie-dyed black and white. It's kind of perfect. She knows I'm watching. She likes the way I stand. All right, two hours, 40 minutes in, 37 miles. How are you feeling so far? Couldn't be better. Warming up, the balmy 42 degrees, no ice, eating purple tubers, things are working out. How are the Q-rings? They feel just like every other ring or any other ring or other rings. 
What do they feel like? Honestly, it just feels normal. Surprisingly. Yeah. That's possible answer. I think you're right. We keep climbing, the snow keeps growing, and the temp keeps dropping. This toasty toe warm moment is brought to you by these bright, comfortable shoe covers. These are Garwear, and look at they're fleece on the inside. How comfortable is that? Fleecy Yum. dance, fleecy dance, everybody fleecy your pants. <laughs> As our protagonists lead further into the wintry unknown, the weather vacillates wildly. <laughs> this is kind of treacherous. And shout out competitive cyclists for sponsoring this week's video. Use offer code DUSTIN15 for 15% off your first order to competitivecyclist.com. You can get some funny shaped rings if you want. Boost your efficiency, up your cadence, lower your regret. The choice is yours. This is why, why, then I'm back is you Every turn our life flashes before our eyes. Ice and rubber. Never the two shall meet. Oh God. Oh my God. Full of tacos and back in action. Okay, egg ring report. You know, it's feeling good. I, I personally think I'm just a little bit more efficient than Ron is today. I think so. Yeah, by a coefficient of 20%. <laughs> <laughs> Variety for the win today. Perfect for these uh, highway miles. Hey Ron, what bike are you riding today? Specialized Crux Evo. It's a cross bike, it's a gravel bike, but I turned it into a road bike. Is there anything you would change about your current setup? Yeah, I have a new stem and a new seat post on the way and some new cranks. So yeah, a lot. Kind of sketchy. Oh yeah. and 45 minutes into this and I'm starting to get a little road ragged. I still got it in me to get us home, but it's not gonna be pretty. Buckle up for this log log. Sunshine, 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 bring it. Not so fast, not I'm pretty sure I'm fracked. What a ridiculous way to test these rings out. So what's the deal? What do I think? Anything that's gonna make me more efficient and requires absolutely nothing for me to do except switch out a couple parts, that's a win in my book. And the adaptation period was, I mean, it was, it was like there wasn't one really. And you can trust me on that because we did a ridiculous amount of miles for trying something completely new for the very first time ever. Highly unadvised. Wait, wait, question for you. How many of you run oval rings? How many of you run round rings? See, she shells, seashells on this. It's freezing cold. Bike technology is fascinating. And the ride by the numbers? Six hours, 47 minutes rolling time. 98 miles and 4,911 feet of elevation. Just trying to wedge those miles in before the end of the year. Oh, and I got one more thing for you. Check out this video where Ron and I go up and ride the Cascades in Washington. It was a whole lot of a whole lot. Whew. Yeah. Let me, let me.